being you at home, wherever you are, on your phone, talk to us. How do you remember Uncle Kathy? Let's take a look at what you have to say on the Twitter handle at SCBC Newsroom as well as on the Facebook page. This one uh, coming on the Twitter handle, rest in peace, Ahmed Katrada coming from the ANC in Gauteng. We lower our revolutionary banners as we both mourn and celebrate a giant of our times. Rest in peace, Uncle Kathy. From the EFF, farewell, Uncle Katrada. That one uh, from the same Lozi, rest in revolutionary peace. This one from Musi Maimani, the DA, says, My deep condolences to Ahmed Katrada, the family, his political party, and the people of South Africa. We have indeed lost a giant. Dala Nokolo. Helen Zilla says, Deep condolences, a life of great contribution and personal sacrifice. Rest in peace. This one from the UDM. UDM mourns the loss of the struggle stalwart Ahmed Katrada. The United Democratic Movement is saddened to hear of his passing. There you have it, 1929 to 2017 this morning, he passed away. Let's now go over to Yevon to find out what's happening uh, where one of our reporters, Mzwai, Mzwandile Mbeje, is. Yeah, thanks, Alvis. Normally within uh, the, the funeral processional rites, within the, the, the Islamic faith, one gets buried on the same day, or normally before sunset on the day of passing. Therefore, it's a little bit extraordinary, the fact that this uh, funeral will take place tomorrow. But let's go over to Mzwandile Mbeche. He's in Hatton at the mosque. A very good morning to you, uh, to you Zwai. Just give us a quick idea. Why do, we, why do we have the funeral taking place only tomorrow? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Yep, and uh, you know this is a very important occasion uh, for the country as a whole. Uh, Ahmed Khatrada was larger than life, uh, a revolutionary, a, an activist. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but uh, this is one of those who really contribute immensely uh, to the liberation of this country. And indeed, sadly, he passed away and the country took note. As you know that uh, he belongs to the Muslim religion, once uh, a person dies so he gets buried uh, quickly. Right now we are at uh, the mosque where this mosque would be used as an overflow area because his flat uh, is not far from here but uh, obviously people would not be able to go there. I'm sure those uh, that are selected to have, will have the possibility uh, to visit the flat once the body is removed from the from the hospital so they would uh, start uh, at this uh, uh, mosque. But uh, yeah, ben, uh, someone who really knows about uh, the, the, the Muslim burial issues is uh, the Mufti, uh, Mufti Zaid Minti. He will tell us what normally happens when uh, someone uh, who is in this uh, religion dies? Uh, welcome to SABC. Please uh, take us through, ordinarily, in a Muslim uh, culture, if someone dies, what happens? Uh, morning, it's a pleasure to be on your platform. Uh, generally, when a Muslim passes on, and as is in our culture and tradition, uh, we follow the uh, rights and regulations as is chalked out in our religion uh, of Islam, and that is that uh, the Muslim body uh, should be buried as soon as possible, without any delay. So, in so doing, the body sh should first be washed, and then it is enshrouded uh, in a particular manner, and uh, thereafter the procession should take place for burial as soon as possible. Um, do you make exceptions uh, perhaps uh, with regards to certain individuals? Uh, I'm talking, uh, I know you are not the spokesperson of the Ahmed Katrada family, but generally as a rule, uh, are there exceptions that are made perhaps when the individual uh, has a certain uh, responsibility uh, in society? Uh, there is no real exceptions. It's a general rule and a rule of thumb that goes for all. Uh, but yes, uh, perhaps in the procedure and the manner of how the funeral will be carried out, uh, the, it, that will be decided by the, fun uh, the family members in particular. Yeah, I'm basically saying, so what is the time frame? Uh, like I said, that with time, there is no particular time frame. It should be done without delay and it should be done as soon as possible. Because we have heard that uh, it may be within 24 hours. Uh, as far as uh, you know, this is still within. Uh, 
Yes, as long as it's within that, but obviously that is just a guideline, a benchmark to work with. And uh, as I said, that even if it's before the 24, it can be 12 hours, but there should not, uh, not be any unnecessary delay in the procedure. Okay. Well, what about the sunset and the sunrise? Uh, do, do you take those into account? Uh, not necessary. Uh, that, uh, that should hinder or be an impediment in any way. So uh, you, for example, expect that uh, now we got the news uh, that uh, he passed away in the early hours of this morning. So ordinarily you would expect him to be buried this evening. Yes, generally it is done in the same in the same day uh, with, uh, by the by the evening latest. And uh, again, this will be the decision of the family. Generally, uh, like I said, Islamically it should be done as soon as possible. But the family family will decide. Sometimes there are other implications and other uh, reasons uh, uh, regulating around us, and uh, perhaps uh, it being part of the state as well. And uh, maybe family members coming from far and abroad, etc., other dignitaries. So for that reason, there will be some delay, which is. Uh, understood. Thank you very much. Thank you again. It, is, it was a pleasure to chat with you on this forum. Thank you. Uh, as you've heard, the, the Mufti is playing, explaining to us uh, what is expected, that as soon as someone dies, he needs to be buried uh, immediately. But indeed, uh, there may be certain factors that may not allow that possibility. So he says, so that can be allowed. So I'm thinking in this situation, at least we would have to uh, know exactly what will happen once, once that uh, press briefing uh, at 10 uh, is addressed.